Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and I'm going to talk about the last horror movie. Which I just watched on Amazon Prime. So, in a nutshell, if you enjoy a lot of titties, a very sweaty Joe Spinell, and Carolyn Monroe's Bride of Frankenstein as care, this is a treat for you. Joe Spinell plays a character named Vinny who really, really wants to be a director, and in particular, he really wants Jana Bates in his film. He is very, very obsessed with her to the point where he travels to the Cannes Film Festival to kind of stalk her, to try to convince her, her agent, um, her producer, ex-husband, current husband, I'm not really quite sure, that she should be the starlet in his next film. He is completely delusional, and there are these scenes of kind of in his head where it's very foggy and everyone's very judgmental of him, and he feels that he needs to prove himself, or prove himself by killing the people that are naysayers. He kind of weeds out the people around Janna and dispatches them. And films everything, of course, because you must be dramatic. You must hire airplanes with uh, skywriting to make sure everyone knows that they're in imminent danger. I'm going to leave it off there. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to spoil. There is kind of a twist at the end, but it's not... It's fine. What did I like about this movie? The practical effects are so good. They're beautiful. Even in the films that our characters are watching, as this is a film festival, practical effects on point. There's a very graphic scene of, like, an old woman who attacks a young man, cuts his eye out very graphically, and then proceeds to kind of cut him open. Okay. And it's really funny because uh, Vinny ends up bumping into the producer of that film, his name's Stephen something and is actually screaming at him, saying, your film made me sick, you should be, you know, banned from everything, stop making films, blah, blah, blah. Which is something, I, I think that happens a lot with horror directors. I like that they talked about, uh, very, very much worked into the plot, and also talked about, is the true crime stuff and how it would affect horror movies, or how horror movies could potentially impact more crime happening as people would watch them and then want to do it, you know, kind of the juxtaposition of does this affect this or does this affect this? It was really, I thought, it was a nice commentary in there. They did talk about uh, Ronald Reagan's potential assassination and that whole thing with um, the actress's name escapes my mind, but how that's kind of going on in real life, but that's also pretty much going on in this movie, other than he's not trying to assassinate any, what, anyways. Um, I love Joe Spinell so much. So much. I want to see every movie he's in. One of my favorite movies is Maniac, and it's, it's Joe Spinell. It's Joe Spinell's weird crying that makes you feel hella awkward. All of his very, very sweaty scenes where you can kind of smell him and he's just glistening. The movie opened with, we found out they're watching a horror film, but just tits, all tits out. And then she gets killed. And then they pan to Joe Spinell in the movie theater who is unfortunately um, pulling up Pee Wee Herman in the movie theater as you see him zip his pants up, which is very awkward, but still a very sweaty Joe Spinell. I love you, Joe Spinell. You were a treasure. What did I dislike about this movie? There, I think it's the decade. I think this is from 81, and there's just a lot of really weird disco-y type scenes that I didn't need. I don't care about people dancing badly. Like, if you want to dance badly, that's fine. I just really don't need it included in my horror film. I felt like some of the pacing was a little bit off, but it didn't make me enjoy it less. It just... I had to focus, which is hard. Um, yeah, it's it's a good movie. I would give this probably 
3.5 out of 5. Not the perfect movie. Not everyone's cup of tea. I'm not typically a big fan of this subgenre of horror, which is more like a slasher, mystery, thriller kind of thing. There's no zombies in it. It's fine. I still enjoyed it. As I said, I found it on Amazon Prime Video Streaming. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you could probably find it other streaming services, perhaps a physical copy, if you're lucky enough. Um, it, there, to note, there is a very strange scene at the end of the movie that kind of broke my brain, but it was funny. And then I fast forwarded to see if there was any after credit scenes and there's literally just a strip of film that says the end. So don't, don't sit through it. But have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? What are some other Joe Spinell movies you think I would enjoy? Please leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. Please don't forget to like the video, hit the notification bell for all further uploads of my live streams and videos. I said that out of order, but my solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Also, please check out all of their creators for awesome, awesome, awesome content. And this will definitely not be the last horror film for me. See you later, guys.